truth. Uh, this one, or should I do it? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, this one. I I think this dice was lucky. So, but let's not jinx it. Jinx, jinx it. and welcome back to the reading platter and it's been like 2 months since i uh, filmed a video so again here's time for july tbr i wasn't going to do this video but you know let's do it we'll do six rolls or five i always forget the number of rolls that i do for a month like i used to do six but i don't know Okay for those who haven't watched this game this is actually my TBR game that I play what I do is roll a dice every odd number is a truth prompt and every uh, even number is a dare prompt and these are the prompts that I made these are a lot of prompts and some of these were recommended by you guys some of them I chose myself and some were inspired by other booktubers so I used to roll the dice manually, but uh, last time I did it on the phone, and this time too I'm doing this. How do you like this? I mean, um, this is much more convenient, but rolling the guy dice manually was a little more fun. So uh, let me know in the comments what way you like, like uh, rolling the dice on the phone or manually. Um, I will change some things a bit. So let's get into roll number one. And here's the dice. Uh, this is six, six uh, face dice, and let's roll it. And a four. That is um, dare. So let's see what we have. These are the dares. And this one. A second hand box. do have a second hand book actually um but i don't know if i want to read that so for this prompt i will be reading one life one love by rochak bhatnagar and this is a second hand book as you can clearly see so it is a pre love book and let's see how much i like it so yeah this is a romance fiction and what it says so let's see i want to get as many physical books as i can so moving on to roll number 2 a 3 that means a truth so let's move on to the truth prompt number 2 uh A rom com. I definitely would love to read a rom com. There are a lot of rom com books on my TV, and I'm so happy about this. For this prompt, I will be reading *The Wedding Setup*, a short story by Sonali Dev. This is by an Indian author, but I guess she lives outside the country. So, um, yeah, this. is on my kindle and this is a very short i don't know how many pages but a short story let me check how many pages are there um there's like 67 pages so it will be a quick read roll number 3 and we are safe actually so yeah a four a dare okay where are the dares with long title hmm a long title i might find something on kindle so yeah let me check that and this is men are from mars and women are from venus by john gray i have it for a long long time it is actually pre loved so i do not like uh, when this happens but uh, yeah let's see how much i like it i guess this was a very hype book at it at the time 
and it is still a lot of people read this book so let's see how much i like it moving on to roll number four and we are still safe from any extra rolls so let's roll it a two a dare again okay Bird on the cover. Hmm. This can be tough. So it is very difficult to find a book with a bird on the cover, and I was searching for it for like past one hour. So I didn't find any. The most of them I have read already, and a few of them I didn't want to. So I am currently reading. I'm not that far along, but I am currently reading *Shatter Me* by uh, Tahera Mafi. Uh, I think this is how you pronounce it. And there are a lot of birds on the cover, as you can see. So this counts, and I am uh, vlogging this book as well, so it works the best. Okay, so now we are in a little trouble. Um, if we get three dares or three truths in a roll, we have—I mean, in a row—we have to add a roll, and we have two dares in a row right now. So let's hope there is no dares for this roll, and let's move on to roll number five. <gasps> It's a truth. There is no extra roll, and this is a truth. So let's pick. A prom, and let's pick a nice one. Uh, this one, or I'm stretching it. Look at this. Set in a city you want to visit. Hmm, this is very interesting, actually. Um, okay, I actually, you know what? Like this month, I just started. I have read like thirty pages in the book, and that is a book set in the country I want to visit. So I think that counts. I I guess that counts. I mean, you know what? Um, we count that. So I have decided. Uh, I went to the library. I don't have this book, so whenever I go to the library, I continue reading reading this book. And um, I've read like 30 pages till now, and this is Kim Ji Young, born 1982 by Cho Nam Ju, and I am enjoying it. Like I have read only 30 pages, but it is really, really interesting, and it is set in Seoul, South Korea. So this is a city I really want to visit. And moving on to the final role, and this month. The game was so good to us, but let's not jinx it. Jinx, jinx it. And the last roll is a truth, and let's hope for a good one. I mean, let's hope for a good one. Let me shuffle a lot this time. Do you have a book less than 300 pages? And I'm sure you do have a book less than 300 pages. For the last prompt, I went for an audio book, and that is one hour and 30 minutes long, I guess. And that is one more round by Alice Clayton. And the Kindle edition says 86 pages, so definitely less than 300 pages, and it works so well. So I guess this TBR was really, really fun. For now, this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I know so many of you, of you wanted me to suffer this month as well. But the game decided to be good on me for at least a month, and I am happy about it. So, yeah, um, this is it for today's video. If you liked it, do like and subscribe to my channel. It's completely free, and I make this kind of bookish and lifestyle content all the time. And we meet in.